check this out. We are going to rip this molding off. This is a dealer add-on from 1992. Totally not feeling it, so luckily I've done the other side of the car already. It's pretty easy to strip, but it just takes a little elbow grease. Just have to grab a little corner here, get it started, and then, oh my gosh. That's 26 years worth of tape and buildup and crap. Don't want it. This is the tedious part. I'm giving myself blisters from this because I've done two of four already, but this stuff just kind of needs a little bit of uh, coaxing. And it does come off. Sadly, though, I did find a little ding that was hidden underneath one of those strips. So one more thing to add to the list of uh, to-dos for my dent guy. This car hasn't yet gone for dent repair. Check that out. All cleaned up. Again, gonna have to get that taken care of, but very, very happy. So that takes care of the moldings, which I've wanted to remove for a long time. Well, as long as I've had the car, which has maybe only been a little bit more than a month. But uh, those are taken care of, as well as the pinstripe. Some of you will remember this car had a tape pinstripe when I picked it up that a friend of mine was gracious to remove for me. So that's gone. Just. A bunch of dealer add-on stuff like I commented on one of my prior videos this car had a lot of what I like to call flair just accessories and you know little pieces of trim that it definitely didn't need and I'm just going for a more simple stock clean look uh, as far as maintenance items I did get new tires this week I got a new set of Falcon 195 60 14s this week from discount tire I can't tell you how much nicer the car rides now uh, as opposed to those 17 year old good years that it had on here before. So next on the list, and by the way, I printed up a window sticker. I had some paperwork on this car that included the original sticker, so I went ahead and laminated a piece of paper here. But I have uh, floor mats on the way. They're not gonna be OEM, but they will be carpet and fitted. Uh, probably a little better looking than these aftermarket uh, rubber kind of cheapies that I have. So looking forward to getting those installed here. Uh, this car is definitely coming together one piece at a time. Okay, good news. I got my new mirror. So this is the old one. Look how crappy this is. It's got this weird piece together glued stuff. My friend Jeff calls this a Shrek color. Don't even know what that means. But check out this beauty I got. Thanks to my friend Joseph out in uh, Southern California. He got this thing at a junkyard and it wasn't perfect, but I had it painted by the shop down the street for 96 whole dollars and I'm thrilled. So let's get this baby installed. And we have a success story. This was not as cut and dry of an experience as I thought it was gonna be. These door panels have all sorts of weird clips and holding you know, screws, and uh, I didn't lose any hardware, I didn't break anything, the mirror and window still work, so I think, I'll call that a success story, I had to detach my safety belt there so I could get access to some stuff, but hey, for, uh, for a little do-it-yourself job with a mirror that came from a junkyard car, I don't think we did too bad there. Uh, color matches perfectly and everything, so this little thing, is gonna go hit the trash. I don't think I need this one for anything. 
the reason why I ditched this thing, and it wasn't cracked before I did that trying to take this piece off, but see it has no objects in mirror messaging, and everything in this mirror appeared really distorted because your passenger side mirror is actually supposed to have some curvature to it to help you give a greater field of vision. Here's update number two for the day. You can get a clue from the box what it's gonna be, but sad truth is I couldn't find factory floor mats, and even if I did, they're gonna be in pretty sorry shape for now. So I went ahead and ordered from this company online that has reproduction floor mats. Let's just see how these babies look. They're supposed to be pretty good pile, 90 to 93 Integra four door yeah those are quality surge binding all right let's go throw them in the car it's pretty tough to mess up black color match so obviously these are going to be a pretty good fit but let's go ahead and take out the old and in with the new these are very very cheap looking i don't know mostly just plastic that were in the car and this must be my passenger side front. It looks like they will work just fine. I'll do some more um, fitting in there. But those took, turned out pretty nice. Uh, definitely better than what I had prior. They're about 140 bucks, I think, for the set. Another couple subtle upgrades to this Integra. It's slowly getting there. The next thing on the list is gonna be maybe a little ways down the road. I'll redo my window tint and have the dents removed. So I think that might be the last couple major items I wanna take care of on here. Got them all installed and I vacuumed the car while I was at it. Can't really get a feel for it, but the fit's pretty good. If anything, they're a little bit big. I'd rather have more coverage than less though so happy camper here so thanks for tuning in glad to bring you along on this little journey with this integra gs it's been a fun car i'm looking forward to seeing what happens with the next talk to you soon